Hey, what is going on guys? It's your boy Z-Rays back again with another Horror World Serial List. Yes, I say back again because it's been two years since the last Horror World's tier list. Now, I will say, there has been a lot of new Horror World slash maps in VR chat. So I thought, since Bucality is happening and Halloween is right around the corner, why not bring you an update to the Horror World's tier list? I will say one thing before we go on, that some of these worlds have been deleted or privated, so I don't exactly know which ones and i can do nothing about it i'll just put in my playlist so you guys can see the videos on it that's what the creators wanted i can't do nothing but just try them out when they're available if they're gone they're gone i apologize and yeah so without further ado let's get right into it vr chat horror worlds tier list maker for all the horror worlds i've done slash r and vr chat no chill slash hangout worlds only game based ones by me and yes me if we go to the bottom look follow at the real z race i made this so you guys can use this to make your own tier list and uh yeah let's not waste any more time let's just get right into it first thing is first now the rankings go by the simple criteria i gave last time which is basically how good the map is how good the gameplay is how good is it in horror how good is it with friends and overall how good how good is it when you go in blindly those are my criteria's points in evaluating a map so yeah all right 6g experience it's not good why too many flashing lights not really about horror kind of memeish Gives you motion sickness. I mean, if you want to bring your friends in, you're just basically torturing them. If you're prone to motion sickness, you can still try try it on desktop. But you'll see for yourself what I'm basically trying to explain to you and tell you what it is. Not a very good map overall. I don't... It's just a meme one, if anything. Alright, next. Abandoned Horror Mine. And that's all really it is. It's just a mine. It looks nice. Not really too keen on the jump scares and whatnot. Atmosphere is okay. You can bring a friend, but not really else much to it. So it's an okay. Next, we have absolute classic horror. And it's spooky! <laughs> Trust me. If you know, you know. If not, go try it. Absolute classic horror. Next, underscore 0001. Now, I did a video on this with Mr. Terrible. I suggest you go watch it but if you want to go try it out for yourself go ahead i suggest you try out all of these maps before watching videos really but overall great atmosphere great scares great with friends and uh yeah spooky next we have eyes do you guys remember eyes if you don't basically there was a sexy lady version and a non-sexy lady version markiplier played it gameplay great atmosphere great scare wise uh, it depends on you, really. Objective-wise, which is basically gameplay, and going into it blind, great. So, overall, great. I do want to say, it would have been spooky, but, I don't know. It just seems a little too meh on the fear factor from the monster. But, still, it's a great map, trust me. Alright, Angst Forest. It's an Asian horror map. Now, I will say with one thing with these Asian horror maps, they don't really tell you what to do at times. They just kind of put you in the map and just go with the flow. So, hey, I suggest you look up a video on what to do. But if you really don't want to get spoiled, just go in blind, Okay, which is one of the factors I do for these criterion of uh, the maps. So basically, Angst Forest, atmosphere, fine. Scare-wise, it's pretty good. Gameplay with friends, solid, no difficulty. Going into blind, basically also solid. But again, like I said, I wish they would explain more instead of just throwing you into the map. So, it's good. Next, FNAF Help Wanted. Now, if you played FNAF Help Wanted, you basically know what this is already. But it was in VR chat. Not anymore. But it was in VR chat. And if anyone can make their own version... Please let me know so I can try it out. But it's great. Next, we have Darkness of Eclipse. 
It's a slender copy, but it's a good slender copy. Atmosphere, great. Objective, great. There's a story to it. There's hidden little achievements you can get. And uh, yeah, bring your friends. So Darkness of Eclipse is great. Actually, I do want to put it on Spooky, but there is one thing that's kind of annoying. And it's the mechanic that when you die, I'm not going to say what it is, but that's what prevents it from being spooky. Next, we have Atmosphere. So basically, if you have a fear, it's probably going to be in the world. But nice map. Overall, not too bad with the jump scares. Bringing with friends, yes. Gameplay wise, it's fine. And it's a new map. I'm not going to say too much about it, but go ahead. I think it's, I think it's pretty good. All right, next is, hmm, this is an OG map. This one is called, sorry, I was fixing my volume. This one is called Do Not Enter. It's an OG map. There's a story to it, which is pretty nice. Jump scare wise is fine. Uh, gameplay wise is pretty good. And bringing your friends is pretty good too. So overall, it's a pretty good map. It for being an OG map. Next, we have Dream Decay. This map follows up from underscore 0001, in which I don't know what the creator is planning to do with this map. If it's actually going to be a real like adventure map or sorts. But from what I got when exploring the map, it was pretty creepy. Very nice vibes to it. Atmosphere is amazing. And uh, yeah, creator, if you do make a follow up to this map, please let me know. If not, this is a solid map. I just wish there was more to it. So overall, I'm going to give it a good. Great would have been if there was actually like an adventure or something. But who knows? All right. Next, we have Horror World. This is one of the worlds that got deleted. And surprisingly, for the name, it was actually pretty good. Uh, Atmosphere-wise, it's fine. Jump scares are pretty solid. Not too bad. It's an Asian horror map, sadly, so you won't understand too much on it. And gameplay is fine, especially with friends, it's fine. So overall, it was a very interesting take for a world being called Horror World. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just wish the creator brought it back so you guys could try it. Sadly, I don't know. And, and I'm going to miss some of these worlds because they were pretty good. So I'm just going to give it a good. Next, we have Aetherman. This right here is another slender copy. Bonk. Yes, yes, I apologize. I know you guys don't want to hear me comparing it to an OG game, but I'm sorry. I see and know what I'm dealing with. So anyways, Aetherman, very good atmosphere. Very well gameplay. A little large on the map, but it's pretty fine. Uh, I will say one thing, though. Friends wise, the you might want to stick together, but if you guys can, you know, split up like the Scooby Doo gang, it'll make the map go by faster. But I, I know how it is with horror maps. You guys want to stick with your friend groups. But overall, I think it's a very good map. Now, one last thing though, this map has been updated, so I don't really know the aspects of the new updates and all that. I just know from what I've played, okay? Hit me all you want. But I've been too busy with trying to get this done, exploring all these other horror maps, and uh, yeah, bringing you guys this amazing video that you can forever hate on. <laughs> Next, we have a Huggy Dungeon one, which surprisingly, you know what? Let's just do all the Huggy Dungeon ones we can find here. Okay, so Huggy Dungeon 2, good. We have HDS Halloween, great. We have Huggy Dungeon's Big Sister, good. We have Huggy Dungeon Part 3, Part 1, good. And Christmas should be here. It's going to be in great. These two are really good. They were really good. I don't know why the main story ones were kind of eh, but these were really good. All right, next, Lucifer, an art piece, an OG map. If you know, you know. I won't say too much into it because I feel like this is a map that you have to go in and try, especially with your friends. But this is okay. <laughs> you see what I mean? I'm telling you it's okay, but it's good to try with your friends. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. 
Dead Space. Dead Space in VR. So you basically know what Dead Space is, right? So yeah, Dead Space in VR. It's good. It's pretty much all I can say about it. Next, cube.exe. This map was deleted. Don't know if it's ever coming back, but I'm going to give it my okay. Next, Emily wants to play. If you know what Emily wants to play is, you basically just know everything about the map then, but it's in VR. It was in VR chat and is no longer in VR chat. I wish someone would make a version of it again because it's really good gameplay. And uh, yeah, Emily's a burp, so I'm gonna give it a spooky. Next, we have, which you ever played like that elevator game? You know, the ones that they tell you to follow like a set of rules and everything and stuff like that. Well, this is called creepy hide and seek. That's basically what this map is. It's so it's, it's tedious to do all those steps just to get a good jump scare on it. So I'll just say it's okay. Actually, you know, what? I'm gonna say it's not good because for some reason when I was trying to do the steps, it didn't really work out. And I don't know if I bugged the map or something, but I'm sorry. It's just not a good map. All right. Next, we have puzzle. Dude, I'm stupid for not knowing how to do puzzles. Well, basically, this is called Dungeon Escape Room Puzzle. So I suggest you bring a friend if you're not smart. Or if they're not smart, go with them. But short, sweet escape puzzle with horror. And we have it okay here. And then there was the second and third now there's probably more to them but i'm just giving you an idea of what these maps have to offer so i don't have to put every single one all right next we have cell so this is one of the new ones and long story short it's a waiting game but it's got some nice uh horror things to it uh, atmosphere is fine jump scares not too heavy with friends i don't know it feels like a solo if anything and uh yeah it's just basically a waiting game a good waiting game so good all right next alone in the silence an og map so alone in the silence you know what i want to say about this map that i wish more creators would do in the future because they already done one aspect of it but they didn't really fully imp implement it so in alone in the silence there's a mechanic in which you walk and you can hear your footsteps right they have that in most of these horror maps but the problem is is that they don't know how to code the creature so that if it hears your footsteps it's going to come and kill you and this one it does and it's pretty nice i just wish more horror maps did that so damn it's a good map Detective wise doesn't really tell you what to do but friends yes gameplay yes atmosphere horror yes cool so it's good next we have hallucination and this one is ugh, it's okay the flashlight kind of sucks atmosphere is fine jump scares are kind of eh. objective wise is a little difficult but it's pretty clear once you go through it. I'm giving too much for this map for what it is. But I'm trying to be fair, you know? Like, horror maps, you know, tend need to be dark in order to somewhat work. This one's just, like, barely any light. And that just makes things a lot worse. I'm not going to talk too much about it. Try it out for yourselves. I don't know how to explain this one fully. All right, next we have Find Me Ha Ha Ha. This one, this one's okay. Simple, not too scary. Gameplay is easy. You can bring a friend and uh, yeah, not else much to say. All right, next we, uh, you know, this map is the best map ever. It's called Don't Trip, it's spooky. So if you know, you know. That's all I'm going to tell you. If you know, you know. All right, next. Foreign Story. Now, this is just a preview. But from what I got in that preview, it's a pretty solid map. I can't wait to see what the creator has to do with the rest of it. But from what I've experienced, I think it's pretty good. Creator, 
blow me away. You know, I can't wait. All right, next, an OG map. We have abandoned station. This was loud, loud. Oh my God. It's crazy to think that this map still holds up very well after how long it's been now, four years or so. Because that's how long I've been playing VR chat. But man, this is a good map. Not great because it's loud. But gameplay wise, great. Scare wise, great. And with your friends, it's great. Next, we have Area 51, one of the new maps. Very solid. It's an adventure map. Very good on the atmosphere wise. Scare wise, it's pretty good. And uh, yeah. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I'm trying to explain to you guys what these maps have to offer without spoiling too much. Even though I did that for some of them, but I feel like some of these maps you should already have played them. And if you haven't, what are you doing? Go play them. Nice. All right. Next, we have Horror Darkness Escape. Now, I do want to point out with Horror Darkness Escape, there has been different versions throughout the years. And I don't know which version you guys have played, but if I recall correctly, mine was the 2019, I want to say. 2019, 2018. And it was pretty good. Puzzles are fine. Horror is fine. Gameplay with friends is wise. Overall, it's a pretty solid horror game. So, I'm going to say, good. Next, we have, okay, so right here, these two worlds, we have, <laughs> we have horror map with story one and horror map with story two. I'm just laughing because, so the creator, what they did for this one was they took away a mechanic from the first one and then just completely rechanged it. In the second one but i still feel like i still don't know what's going on gameplay wise is a little funky it works but doesn't horror is okay like the scare factor with friends i mean they could help you do a little better but i don't know you just have to have patience with this Otherwise, it's just going to be very confusing and stressful. Maybe that's just me because of the first one leading up into the second one. But I don't know. I couldn't really enjoy these. So for the first one, I'm going to say not good. For the second one, I'm going to say it's okay. All right. Next, CBL at night. This is an OG map. It's been deleted. It's never coming back, at least from what I know. But it came back once. But then that was it. Never again. And uh, very solid map. It's a little bit loud at times. But atmosphere is great. Gameplay is great. Simple. Just leads you on. Kind of like one of those uh, horror attractions in which you walk through and just, you know, enjoy it. So, yeah. Overall, great. Next, we have... So this is one of the new ones, too. And this one is called the haunted halloween mansion halloween mansion so this one is very good in sense of atmosphere wise scare wise not too bad could be a little better but it's good bring some friends and yeah i'm not gonna say more about it because i want you guys to try it out there you go next we are going to put this bad boy in in good because I'm losing my mind. We have now this is a weird map. This one goes by the name Horror Game A. So do you guys remember that lovely map me and Terrible did called Haunted Asylum? Well, it kind of copies the theme of it, but not necessarily in gameplay that's all i'm really gonna say it wants you to play this game in solo but you can bring friends you know because who wants to do horror maps solo right <laughs> not me and all these maps you see here i must be crazy or something so anyways this map was very good in the turnaround it did from haunted asylum i suggest you go try it out the jump scares are pretty 
solid. They're not too bad. They're really nice. Gameplay, simple, uh, with your friends, good. And overall, I think it's a wonderful map. So we're going to give it a good. Next, we have Horicon the site. Hey guys, you ever seen Aliens? That's basically what this map is. It's Aliens. This map is no longer available in VR chat. And uh, yeah, but it's basically Aliens. Uh, so atmosphere great jump scare wise it's fine gameplay is pretty good but your friends pretty nice too so overall we're gonna give it a good oh look it's an hds and that belongs here in the good i must be blind or something anyways next we have esperance horror beta now i'm kind of sad that the creator didn't do anything with this map or make anything new they just kind of left it be and it's sad to see it happen because i would love to see what you know you had in mind with this map because from what i got it was pretty nice in the beginning but then afterwards it was like oh that was it it's so short so i give it an okay next we have a sweet trip now the plot twist at the ending was pretty crazy it's fun but it's pretty crazy so gameplay wise easy horror pretty good bring with friends yep simple no problem just a solid nice map and i'm gonna say it's pretty good all right we have fever dream an og map you guys remember fever dream it's a disney theme type of horror i will say now though disney maps don't work for some reason people try to make them work and I have not seen one successful one yet. Now, I'm not saying Fever Dream is completely bad. But it just doesn't work. It's like a meme map, if anything. So, <laughs> uh, I'm going to give it an okay. Alright, next we have... Now, I don't know what is it with these people with their titles and everything. But this is just called Horror Map. And uh, I think it has something to do with Jeff the Killer. That's all I really got from this. Um, not really much else to it, but it's it's not good. All right, next we have First Dream Part One. Now, when I did this map, can I just say that they don't really use too many school locations as the theme for horror maps? So being in a school and just like having no objective it's so weird like the monsters were kind of weird they looked like they came out of like world of warcraft or something but overall it was just so confusing and i didn't really get what to do other than to say oh is this horror hey that's just me so it's not good all right next we have gateway to hell i recently did a video on about this solid nice scare factors gameplay is great no complications good to bring friends it's an asian horror map so take that into consideration overall pretty good all right next we have these two maps with each other this is called five minutes chapter one and chapter two now i do want to say one thing about this creator no hate or anything but when i first got into these maps it was broken as hell unoptimized laggy didn't work out and being a fnaf slash slender copy i don't know if you fixed it now but that's what i got from it and it wasn't really good so i'll give it an okay because i saw what you were trying to do but it wasn't good because it kept lagging and just overall bad bad gameplay like it, you could just not do anything so next we have an og map and um do you guys know about the stanley per uh, i can't pronounce it but stanley per yeah that's what a cold october is basically so it's not so much focused on the horror factor it's just the decision making that you do throughout this map that really determines if it's going to be scary or not and that's all i can really say if you know anything about the stanley you know games that's what you're getting yourself into with a cold october so it's okay next we have another og map which is the blue steels pizzeria 
short, sweet, simple, and yeah, it's an OG map, so it's okay. It's fine. Next we have Disassociation. I don't really know what the fuck the main objective of this game was. I'm only gonna really say, like, spoiler ahead. Maybe it was just something to do with, like, dreams or something, but just the overall aspect and, like, execution from this world was just wow. <laughs> like, just wow. Like, be prepared if you're gonna do that map. So, I'm just gonna say it's okay. Next, we have Gym Escape. Short <sighs> scares are fine. Like, if you're scared of your local gym or something, then you'll like this map. But to me, it's like, what the hell is happening? Oh, and epilepsy warning. But yeah, overall, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's that good, but that's on me. You're watching a tier list. Okay, fight me. So next, we have Duns and Alpha's horror map. Uh, it's okay. It's a horror maze. What else can be said about it? There's not really too much scares on it. It could be improved a lot. But that's up to the creator. Next, we have another OG map. And this one is called Houses in Nightmare. So it's kind of like puzzle-ish. In which you kind of have to do certain things for horror to happen. Not bad, but not great either. And for the time it was, you know, in the beginning for now, it's still a solid map. It's not terrible, but it's no longer available, sadly. But back then, it was okay map. So there we go. Oh my God, look how many we still have to go through. Oh, Jesus. All right, next, we have another Asian horror map, and this is called away home this one's actually pretty funny to be fair if you bring this with a friend all i'm gonna tell you is just decide on who goes forward and who stays back and stuff because a lot of horror maps tend to do that little uh mechanic with you it's like oh if you go forward something happens or if you left behind something happens but <laughs> but this map was pretty funny to say the least and um Jump scare wise is fine. Atmosphere is great. Gameplay is solid. Not too, not too confusing. And uh, yeah, bring friends. So, I think it's, I think it's good. Next we have abandoned lighthouse. Mm, I mean, it's an abandoned lighthouse. You can explore all around it. There's some things that happen, but nothing too crazy. So I'll say it's an okay. Next we have black blood. Not good. Why? Because I didn't ask to become a doctor. I didn't ask to do a lot of reading or solving things that, you know, I want to go into a world and actually do stuff that will lead me to get scared. I don't want the scares to happen every 30 to 40 minutes, me trying to figure out how to freaking do a map. <laughs> like, you know, I just want to be able to go in, get scared. And explore all around, not sit down and answer questions. All right, next. This one is actually pretty funny. So this one has been deleted from VR Chat. And if you want to see this one, you can go to Mr. Terrible's channel because it's on there. But this is basically called uh, a horror, <laughs> a horror world. See, that's what I'm saying. These worlds are like so simple. Like, I don't know why. Like. You don't think of anything other than, oh, this map is simple, not too much effort. Just call it horror world, horror map, horror whatever. <laughs> but um, yeah, this person just took what they could find, put it together into a world and just upload it and just call it a day. That was basically it. They never went back to update it never did nothing with it just left it as it is just kind of sad but i have to be fair with my rankings so not good next we have hospital i mean if you have a fear of hospitals maybe this will have an effect on you but atmosphere is fine uh what did i say yeah atmosphere is fine gameplay is 
simple no too crazy mechanics bring your friends yes and um that's it that's all i can really give you there's nothing too crazy about this map so it's just not good all right next i'm scared you guys remember i'm scared from markiplier well someone tried to do a version of that in vr chat but they didn't really fully bring it into it it was just kind of like a small previewers like a little bit like the beginning but it worked really good though it was a little broken but i will give it a great it would have been better if it was like the full game but oh well next we have back alley now back alley is kind of interesting in the term of if you hate tight spaces and a lot of things just popping into your face maybe it'll get a good scare out of you but for me it was like okay i'm in this back alley obviously right but what the hell am i supposed to do from here it's like i physically had to guess what shit does and that's the worst part if i had to sometimes say hey i gotta do this right then already the map isn't so great but maybe you see it differently so overall back alley is good because the scares are nice and it's not too complicated but i'm just telling you right now go try it out and then you let me know how it is next so the next one is a doozy um <laughs> the next one was dreamwalker horror now this one is just full-on meme city like it it's loud i'm only gonna say that but man when i did this with terrible holy jesus you gotta try this map out for yourself guys i'm, I'm telling you right now this one whoo i'm gonna give it okay and that's saying a lot so next we have creepy cabin this one is kind of weird because this one really only works if you have two people and only two people i don't know about three or four but it's like a, a waiting horror type of fee and yeah just bring another person and just let the horror fear speaks for itself that's the gameplay just waiting the horror waiting and it's okay next we have inume now you guys can bonk me again and again and again. But it's another, another slender copy. It's another slender copy. That's basically what it is. Is it good? Eh, it's okay. That's a little buggy. Anyways, moving on. What do we have next? Insert horror name here. Now I know it's just a black square. Dinch. Why'd I do that? I'm cringe. Anyways, it's just a black square, but some of the creators don't really know what to do for thumbnail wise. But insert horror name is one of the new maps. It's pretty solid, especially with friends. So the gameplay is great. Scare wise is pretty good. And uh, yeah, go try it out. I think it's pretty good. Next, just H, as in just horror. Aha. Uh, yeah. It's an Asian horror map. I do like what they do for one part, but then the second part is Squid Game. We're just like, no! But it's okay. It's an okay map. All right, next, we have Ariman's Horror of Escape. You know, I kind of want to say it's not good. But the creator tried something. So I'm just giving it, giving it okay. Because there's only one thing in it that really annoys me. But I won't say it in, if you guys ever want to try it. But I'm really just tempted to put it in not good. But I'll be fair. Alright. Next. We have an OG map. Which is... Kasag I'm having a hard time pronouncing this name. Uh, basically, it's called Kesaragi. It's an OG map, and it was a pretty good map too. Scare-wise, nice. Atmosphere-wise, great. You can bring friends easily. And 
Not too bad of a map, being the fact that you can't play it anymore, which kind of sucks. But uh, yeah, I will give it a good. All right, next. What do we have here? What do we have here? Lilia's room. So it's another OG map. Uh, atmosphere is great. Scare wise is pretty okay. Uh, you know, you know how I say like slender copy. Well, this is a PT copy, but it's a good PT copy. So I'm gonna give it an okay. We're gonna see more of those though. <laughs> All right, next we have Lonely Yard in the Rain. So I like how there's like an objective thing with this one, but then you just basically have to figure it out in yourself in the beginning. Because after you do the beginning, then it's where it starts to tell you, oh, hey, so now that you actually started the map, now we can get into what this map is all about. And it's just like, huh? So, damn. Horror aspect is fine. Gameplay is a little complicated if you don't know what you're doing. So bring a friend. Overall, pretty nice map. Short. Short, short. So put in good. Next, we have Lost in Vivo. Now this is from a game. Lost in Vivo. But there's not really too much going on from it. Other than the fact that you're in a sewer. So the reason I'm saying that is because I want you guys to try this map out. Because it's an OG map. And it's surprising how you haven't. Good atmosphere. Good scares. Overall simple. And good with friends. So. It's good. Alright. Lost Teddies. Slender man. Slender man. That's pretty great. Next. What do we have here? Oh, we have M Manix Mansion. You know, an OG map? Maniac's Mansion. I'm sorry for my English. Now, this map is overall good. It would have been great, but there's a problem. Remember that mechanic I told you that I didn't like? Yeah, it's in it. The one life bullshit. Seriously, why you do that? Why? Is it to torture us or something? I don't know. Whatever. It was a good map overall. That is if you don't die. Alright, next. We have Nightmare Experiences. Ugh. At first I thought this was like a solid Disney type of horror map. But this was just a whole nother level of like, is this a first try or something? So, it's not good. Sorry, not sorry. Alright, next. Platform 13. Not available in VR chat anymore. But, long story short, it was a maze. A scary walkthrough maze. It's okay. Next, we have Present for Her for Me Test, which is not available in VR chat. I know there's some ways you can't play it by going through Portal Worlds. So, gameplay wise, is okay scare wise okay game uh scare factor gameplay is pretty solid and with friends especially going into blind it's okay next we have the pro to test the second one and we should have the first one around here which if we go down the list right because there's two of them that's the thing I know that I did put it in here and I'm messing up the video by not telling you where the other one is. So while we, you know, oh, right here. Huh. All right, Pro 1 and Pro 2. Now, they're both solid maps. The only problem is, is that they're an Asian horror world. So you're going to have a little trouble understanding what to do. There is some translation, not a whole lot, but I suggest you try to get a good feel from it because otherwise you will struggle. And uh, yeah, that's not really good when you're trying to do, you know, a horror gameplay experience for yourself. 
So the first one is pretty solid. It's a nice walkthrough of what to do and where to go and stuff like that. Horrors is really good. Gameplay is okay. And for your friends, it makes it even better because, you know, you get to make them go in front and you can go in the back. So the first one is good. The second one is where it's better, but only in the terms of like the horror aspect and the scare, yeah, the scare wise. Because gameplay is, it's a little struggle because you kind of have to do something in order to progress from it and uh it kind of has like <laughs> so it has the one life bullshit mechanic in it but hey if you can take the time to figure out how to clear the map it's an overall solid map so i'm gonna say it's good too both the first and second now i will say this the next map that we have come across is project alice now in my last tier list spoiler alert i said that these were great now there is one thing that holds them back and that is the one life bullshit mechanic so them being an og map you would think that they would people who know how to clear this by now right well not everyone has great memory so unless you know how to clear this map you're gonna have a very hard time and it's not a, gonna be a fun time i mean the horror aspect is cool the gameplay is pretty solid right and there's a story to it which is nice but unless you search up a video or know a person who's actually completed all these maps you're in for a very rough time trust me so they used to be great but now they're good because only of the fact is that if you don't know what to do, yeah, I'm, you're just going to struggle. Trust me. All right. Next, we have Psychosis Screaming Horror Map. This is an OG map. And I will say when I played this, this is the very first map I did with Terra. It's a very special map. Because this is the first world that I did with him when we first started VR chat. Now, does it hold up four years from now? Not necessarily. I think it's I think it could have been a lot better. So I will say it's okay. But being for the first map that we did together, it's it's a got a special place in my heart. Alright, next. Sad Amelia by Official Seon. Now Sad Amelia is based off a real life creepypasta slash dark internet type of thing. And all I will say is, if you played this map in VR, God forbid if you didn't get motion sickness with this one part. Because I don't know how people do it, but it's just the epile like the one thing that Seon did with this map that I really despise was that you couldn't open up your main menu return and for the fact is that you were turned upside down and controller inverted. And being that it was so dark and everything just made things worse. Like, I know you were trying to go for, but at the same time, you gotta remember that not everyone's the same. So if you like this map, I'm either thinking A, you like it because Seon is friends with you, or B, just because, you know, you had a better job of handling this map than I did. But, I mean, nah, it's, it's not good. I'm sorry. Now, Happy Roads, on the other hand, it was, this map has to do a lot with mental issues. So, I feel like if you don't really connect in the same way in what the person is dealing with, they're not going to get the true experience. But maybe you can open your eyes and see their, you know, view on the experience of what they feel. So, this map overall was pretty great. It took a little patience to deal with, but overall gameplay is fine. Scare wise is pretty good. Uh, not too crazy mechanics and bringing in a friend. If I remember correctly, I think I did it solo and you could do it solo only, but correct me if I'm wrong. 
but if you could bring a friend, bring a friend. So overall, I think it was pretty good. All right, next, Sample Corp, not good, too dark, no point. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the main thing you were trying to go for, but yeah, it just this didn't work. So next, we have an OG map. My God, so many OG maps, right? Why am I bringing them back up? But Shadow Halls, right? Shadow Halls, if you haven't played it, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Go try it out. But Shadow Halls, it's pretty good. That's all I can say. Slender Tubbies, spooky, solid. Slender Tubbies will always be a classic, okay? I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> Those fuckers. It's like, huh? the four of them and one trying to kill you. Jesus. All right, next. Sonic VR, the full run. So, spoiler alert. It involves heavily on Sonic. And then afterwards, it's like, wait, what? What's going on? <laughs> so, uh, gameplay wise, fine. Scare wise, 50 50. Depends how you view on it. Uh, bring your friends, yes. Overall, a decent solid map. Uh, good. Next, we have Space Horror Station. Uh, not good. Don't really know what was happening or what was going on. What's the objective? I mean, the ambience of like the space station noises and stuff is pretty nice. But overall, don't know. Don't know what else. Uh, next, we have the Spooky Town and Pumpkin Master. Great adventure map. Uh, I will say, get a bunch of buddies to try it out with you. I don't know if there's ever going to be more to it, but please go try it out. It's a very nice map and a great time for you and your friends. All right, the Disney Valley. Now, remember what I said about Disney theme type adventure slash horror worlds not working? Yeah, this is one of those instances. Like, in the beginning, oh my god, this is so cool. And then afterwards, it's like, what the fuck is happening? So, I will say it's an okay. But then, like, afterwards, it just falls down. And I just don't know what to think of it afterwards. All right. Next we have hmm, you know what's funny this I, what did i say about the thumbnails this is called the dollhouse now this is quite the adventure world but man it's such a hassle to get through like the gameplay is like a little rough scare wise is fine nothing too f scary bringing a friend they might hate you afterwards, but it is a good exploration map. And just the way it just felt. Ooh, I'm going to say it's okay. Next, the elevator. This is like the hide and seek type of thing I was telling you about. In which you have to do a whole bunch of stuff in order to get the map to work. So it, it kind of ruins the experience on it. But again, people see things differently. So, I mean, it's okay, but if I went into this map, like, already knowing what's going to happen, I don't think it's really that good. All right, next, we have an OG map, the Forgotten Maze, which, wow, the name says it all. It's a maze. What more could you ask for? And some mazes are good and some are bad. This one, it's okay. All right, next, we have a new map called the Mailbox. I like the story to it. I like the <laughs> the black and white. That's all I'm going to say about it to the map. The, the scare-wise is pretty good. And the story is pretty nice. You can bring a friend. That's all I'm really going to say. Go try it out. I mean, there's going to be a video on them. Uh, just i just been super busy. But, yeah, that's all I'm really going to say. And I think it's pretty good. All right. Next, the scare zone. This map was pretty interesting in that it was not just one, but multiple fears all into one map. So you had different things from like Void, Clowns, Barney, Insects. You had a bunch of different fears into one map. And 
from my you know perspective on horror versus your perspective of horror it was either good for you or bad for you and for me it was okay like there was only a few of them that really got to me but not in the terms of being scared just having to experience it and just be like oh god this is, this is horrible <laughs> but yeah again this is my view on it all right next we have lost in the void huge gameplay is slow because it's exploration wise doesn't really tell you what to do you just free to explore the void and that's really it but there's like hidden things that oh i wish you know you could say oh you can find some hidden secrets no it literally just tells you oh have fun exploring that's just basically what it is uh scare wise is okay not that big of jump scares and with you can bring friends but i really don't recommend it because it's time consuming for how big the map is so it's okay next we have the xeno worlds cramped dark fun pac-man very weird so overall it's okay next we have hmm you know what's crazy that this one was the hospital but this is a continuation of the hospital and this world is called the great midnight horror so it just basically takes place of saying oh you're going in reverse from the hospital but there's just like new stuff to it and yeah bro what you saw going to the hospital now you're going back and you know seeing new stuff so it's not that good all right unshattered destinations you know this map for it being what it was could have been great there's just one problem the ending we don't need a boss battle and hopefully you know Sam was the only one to do so I know there's been a few people who tried to do their own thing but I'm just gonna say straight up we don't need boss battles in horror worlds horror maps whatever you want to go by I mean if you make it make sense fine whatever but it just didn't work out so I'll give it a good all right, we have an OG map, Vanilla's A Nightmare in the Head. Basically, short and simple, a PT type of vibe, but a very good PT type of vibe. So, I'm going to say it's great. A virtual nightmare, a virtual nightmare if you hate parkour, so <laughs> it's okay. WDKS was very interesting to say the least because it included four different chapters of horror and sadly to say i think i really enjoyed maybe one of them i know two two out of the four and uh yeah i mean thank you for the people who you know put their chip in and said what they were afraid of but i don't know just some of the scares are just kind of eh atmosphere was great gameplay was fine and it's no longer in VR chat because Stayon hates VR chat. I'm not going to get into that, but he can do his own thing. So I'll give it an okay. Next, Abandoned Graveyard. Not really much to it. It's okay. Just exploration. And that's really it is. Uh, Darkest Threat. This used to be known by a different name, believe it or not. So originally when i first played this map right i thought it was gonna be an aliens type of vibe and i don't mean to do that for all the maps that kind of follow the same concept about you know this but when you actually go and try out the map then you see what i'm talking about so originally this map went by the name of the shadow games right and it's 
The puzzles are somewhat easy. Gameplay is fine. Scare-wise is okay. It could have done a lot better, but I think the scare-wise was mostly focused on in the atmosphere rather than, you know, actual sorry, actual jump scares. So, in all, it's a very good map, but at the same time it was kind of a disappointing type of map as well. So, I'm going to give it an okay. Next, we have play, uh, Escape from Playland, which be on the lookout, but <laughs> uh, this map, I think, is very good. Actually, you know, yeah, yeah, I would say it's good because the only reason I say that is because the gameplay mechanics are a little iffy. Like, you know, you really have to think about uh, what to do and how to do them. Scare-wise, are pretty good. S uh, story is fine. And bringing your friends, well, they're going to hate you after this, but yes, Playland Escape is very, very good. All right, next one is Anxiety Nightmare. So, so this one is, I don't know, this one was strange, felt like this one felt strange to me. Like this one's okay, but I don't know why. It's just so weird to me how this world was. Like, I think you would have to go into this map and try it out for yourselves to get, a, like, a better rating and a feel to it than I can explain to you. Because, I don't know. I don't want to say too much about it, but, yeah. Alright, next, we have Amnesia... <laughs> Amnesia Starlight's Vengeance Deluxe. If you know what this is, because this is an OG map, it's basically, spoiler alert, uh, My Little Pony, but just Amnesia type of thing. It works! But it's just, you know, my little pony type of thing. So it's okay. Next, we have Run For Your Life. It's okay. It's an, it's a SCP type of escape. And that's all I can really say about it. I don't want to spoil too much into it. But gameplay is fine. Horror is okay. And yeah. All right. Bedtime story is no, is... How do I say this in the most simplest way? A maze horror. There you go. It's a maze horror. But it's a funny maze horror because it includes a tricky little puzzle that you have to do in order to beat it. But not too complicated. Unless you're stupid. I'm sorry. But it's okay. Alright. Oh my god. We still have so many to go. Let's try to rush these. Alright. Blindsided. Simple. Not too complicated easy atmosphere wise is fine so give it an okay max voice short horror experience they literally said that you know it was their first map and trying to do things so it's okay next charcoal is not good because the mechanics are bad or oh, i'm bad all right the dark hall is okay uh what do we have dark mysteries part one that's gonna go in okay dolls this is okay dom's hollow not good don't hug me i'm scared <laughs> this is okay doors i mean it's really more about puzzle than horror i mean unless your horror is puzzles so the first one was good Except for one part, but yeah. Escape from V. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Escape the Cemetery is okay. Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm gonna get a lot of shit for this, but it's spooky. I know, right? I'm a furry. Hate me. This is. You know what's funny? Help Wanted, this version, was never really finished, which kind of makes me sad. But the way they implemented their version of FNAF with their animatronics is really cool. Also, if anybody wants to help me out in making an animatronic model, I would love you forever. Please let me know where I can do such a thing. Alright, next, we have the three horror story maps. If you don't know what these are, these are ghost stories, right? Uh, it's an Asian horror map, and they all include in one place but different locations. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, my personal favorite 
So I think the first one is okay. The second one. No, actually, the second one is okay. The first one was good. And then this, the third one. Oopsie. The third one is great. <laughs> I have the videos in my playlist. And you'll see what I mean by that. Next, exposure. This map was updated. So I did play before and after. And all I can really say is, I don't know. I think it's okay. I know there's probably going to be more to it because they did say about a whole like save point and stuff like that. But I think it's pretty okay. Next, we have a haunted grounds. And for this one, I'm going to say it's great. Not because of like the horror aspect. I mean, there is horror in it, but just the overall gameplay, the events in it, especially what you could do with friends. It's just so nice and so good. And there's a little hangout place too. I know I didn't. I know I said no hangout places, but this is not just about hangouts. So there you go. All right, next, Hell's Basement is good, especially the ending. So, horror jokes, mm, not good. The tenth floor, ooh, see, now we're getting into like the juicy stuff. All right, so tenth floor, the tenth floor part two. So. I want to say the first 10th floor is pretty great. The second one is good <laughs> because you made me feel stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? All right, next. I can't really pronounce this one because it's an Asian language, but I'm basically just going to say think of it like a horror attraction that you walk through and you get scared around every corner. So it's okay. All right, next. Beyond Darkness, this one plays with the mental horror, but it's good. That's all I have to say about it. LB, I don't remember much about this. This is our first LB. I did play it, but I don't remember anything about it. This one, I don't remember much about either. Butter of Terror is okay. Sotai's Mansion is not good. So these are the Mimi Sepu maps. Um, Taken to how you want with these type of maps. But all I'm going to say is. So they're all. They're all okay. In terms of like horror. They could be better. So yeah. Haunted Asylum. Oh my god. It's spooky. The best of the best. Nice. Alright. Next. Curse of the Voodoo Doll. This one is good. Only because of one fear. That I have. So I might be a little biased with it. But it is a good map. Alright. Keep running. Is okay. Uh, Kimo Damashi. Is okay. It's alright. Lloyd's Lab. Not good lost this did get updated so before it was okay now it's good that's great lunar's end <laughs> is good mary is good mirror mirror is okay brc mirror is okay mirror's curse good more doors is okay nightcrawler is Okay, Dark to Sonic, not good, too big, and overall just a mess to get through. Night Terrors, good. Uh, limited Light, Limited Light Escape, good. No Remorse is okay. Noir, this is only a preview. So, from what I saw, it's good, but you know. Nor Nocturne, which is the second one. Oh my god, do I even have the first one on here? Oh, I don't even have the first one on here. That's crazy. But basically, um, I updated it. <laughs> I just realized I didn't have the first one on here. So basically, Noir, the first one, would be in good. And Noir Nocturne is okay. So, 
There you go, guys. Obsession. Hmm. It's okay. Athron's apartment is good. Actually, no, you know what? Hmm. This one. I think this is great. Yeah. Great. Apartment. Good. Pink's escape. I already mentioned how I feel about puzzles. But you know what? I'm going to say it's okay. You know what? Fine. I'll give it some credit for credits too. Portrait is good. House of Horror is good. Uh, Project Cave. You know what's funny? I'm decisive on good or great because just the way like the atmosphere and everything is, including with the scares. So <laughs> I'm going to say it's great. Next, PT. Spooky. It's PT. Like, you can't go wrong with that. Purify. Okay. Pyramid Escape. Well, I say it's Pyramid Nightmare, but it's Pyramid Escape, basically. So, it's not good. Q Room. Okay. BRC of the Dead is good. Uh... Rip. Jan's remastered is good, but you're just basically like just chilling. You're not doing. You're just enjoying a show. So I'll, I'll let that slide. Reflection is okay. Escape from Monday is okay. Sad Satan is uh, it's good, but that's about it. Saucer Escape is good. Scanner is okay. These two ones are like adventure. Uh, park type of horror worlds but I will say this the first one Scarebrand sorry Scarebrand land is okay and this one is good because it just has like a nice maze to it all right so the next one which I know there's a second one and I'm probably blind as hell because I cannot see it but if it's not in here, oh yeah, right here. So it's Village Isolation 1 and 2. So basically it's aliens. Instead of being in a space station though, you're on the planet and they came to us. Now, realistically, I enjoyed the second one over the first one. But I'm still going to give the first one a good and the second one a great. All right. Next is your friend, which is not good. Um, the gathering is really a, a, a good one because you gather your friends to this new map. No, I'm just sorry. I've just killed me now. <laughs> but uh, it's good. It's very good. So SCP, bro, if you've never done this, you're missing out. It is spooky as hell. All right, SCP. I mean, it's not good only because it just gives you like the idea of what SCP is, but it doesn't really add anything to it or do anything. So, all right, Sector A, six, and Sector B. These are both okay, and I'm only giving that much credit because. They didn't really do much for me other than like be loud and kind of annoying. But that's all I'm really going to say. All right. Next, Severn. Not good. All right. Ringu. It's okay. I mean, it's the ring. So next we have short horror escape maze is okay. We have Siren Hell, which is okay. But Siren Head is good. I like that. All right, Sleepwalk Adventure. Ah, uh, it's okay. All right, Nashrek Bunker is pretty okay. Entity Crisis is great. It's a new one. Try it out. Trust me, you'll love it. All right, next Hollow Castle is good. Spooky Maze. It's a maze. It's okay. There's a way out. It's okay. Uh, dimension. I don't know what the premise of this one is. Although, 
realistically, maybe I'm being too harsh on it because I didn't really understand on how to complete the map. But, I mean, you guys can correct me on it. So, yeah. Uh, this one. Oh, my God. So, this one was... So, this map has been updated. Because right? when I first tried it out, I know that the the feel to it was nice. But then afterwards, like when I went back to explore it because of the update, I was like, hmm, you did you did a little better on it. I'll, I'll give you credit for that. But it still had the the same premise as you know as it was now. So this map is called Starlight Hotel Horror, right? And uh I'm going to say hmm. I'm going to say it's good because spoiler alert it is a PT type of feel but I didn't I didn't really want to bring that out. I really I really want to avoid saying slender copies and PT copies, but that's just what I get when I play these maps. All right, we're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost there. Subject 01, not good. Submerge 2 and Submerge Submerge 1 was okay, but Submerge 2 is great. Bring back more deep ocean horror maps, please. Okay, let's keep going. Sweet 404. Is, you know what the problem is? I wonder if the creator has actually fixed it or not because it is kind of broken. But from what I got and trying to see how this map plays out, I would say it's good. But the creator just needs to fix the map. You can't really move anywhere. Summon Cthulhu. Good. Next we have Halloween Visitor, which is is good in a way. 11km is okay. Uh, QT, which obviously you should know what it is. Good. The the binding of Kate, it's okay. Keys, good. Uh, this one is an OG map. It's called the. Uh, it's called Photos of Me, and basically, it's pretty good. I wish we had like a solid like light or something, but I mean, slender. Listen, you can't go wrong with slender. Okay, slender is in the top. I'm sorry. Actually, you know what? Fuck that. We're going to put this. We're going to put this. We're going to fix this. 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 There we go. Alright. Cool. Cool. Alright. Now, I know people will hate on me for this, but there's so many back rooms, guys. I'm sorry. I know people try to do their different way of back rooms, but I'm only picking the one I did. And it's going to go in the good section right here. So, the Devouring. Now, I know this map got so much hype and... Listen, I gotta tell you one thing. It's not good. I don't care what anyone has to say about it. The puzzles are all over the place. The scares are fine, but it's just annoying to keep dying and dying and dying. Like, that's not fun. When has that ever been a fun thing? You know? And lastly, like, I wish you could just complete one puzzle and then just move on to the next one without having to go back to finish that puzzle that you left like just do the puzzles at once and stop with the whole dying you know mechanic bullshit so there you go all right the disney valley 2 which i don't know why but again no disney <laughs> it's it's not good all right next the dollhouse uh it's okay. Uh, the game is okay. Uh, the hunt. Zombies. Which is good. Alright. Uh, you are mine. Hmm. It's an exploration type of thing. You know what? For what it was. I'm going to say it's a high okay. It could be good but it's not. 
the Josh, the Josh rules. <laughs> the Josh rules. The last house did a video on it. It's great. Like it. Love it. Next, the sewers. It's okay. This this is an OG. The snoo scary mazes. They're great. It's fine. Like not much to say. Thermal maze, not good. UFO is okay. Wario's appreciation. It's great. It's great. Trafficker's Den is okay. Dead Station is good. Uh, the Newborn. Mm. You know what's funny? Oops. My bad. So the Newborn is basically a follow-up from the Shadow Games. But I think it did better. So New Games is good. The Smile Room. Be on the lookout for that. I think it's spooky. I think it's pretty good. VR Chat Experience, not good. VR Chat PT Remake is okay. The Waiting Room is okay. Weakness, now. This is old weakness right here on the right, and this is new weakness. New old weakness was good. New weakness. I have, I think I want to say spooky. Honestly, I think I want to say spooky. Because it's a big change and everything is so good. Fly yeah. five floors, five monsters. It's pretty good. I will say that much. Uh, welcome home <laughs> is okay. Dead man walking is okay. It's just zombies. The field, it's okay. Spookality, uh, your detective's not good. I felt like it could have been better. Uh, Project Zero, it's not good. Shadow World, it's great, sorry. It's great. We have zombies, which is zombies, which is good. And then we have two maps we have two maps remaining which is Zeno's escape uh, it's okay and you shouldn't be here <laughs> which is okay so that has been okay so now we're just gonna zoom out and this has been all the horror worlds that I've done in VR chat over the last two years, basically four years, and I will add the other one that I was missing into here. And yeah, guys, you know, a lot has changed over the past two years, and I hope that creators keep on making VR chat horror worlds, and despite me giving my honest take on it i'm sorry listen i have to be real with you because i want you guys to be better i don't want you guys to be worse so please take that into consideration when i say just make a better horror map or you know try your hardest into making something great i know not everyone can do a map of like me but i want to you guys to do your damn best please because i love seeing the work that you put into these maps and if i notice that you're not putting in a lot of work then hey why am i gonna lie to the people right that's just my take on it so anyways i don't want to hold you up guys any longer let me know what you guys you know have on these worlds and if you do make your own tier list Show me. I want to see it. I want to see what you guys have done. Uh, you can post a screenshot to the Twitter right there. And let me just zoom in for a little more. At the real Z rays. I'll put it in the description. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Happy Halloween and enjoy your horror. Bye bye.